Hello, ladies, and welcome. I know what you're thinking. Wow, her hair grows fast, doesn't it? <laughs> or not. Uh, okay, so clearly this is not my hair, but these are not glue-in extensions. So what are they? Hmm. Well, this is a wonderful way to give yourself a little bit of creativity and to explore some options with longer hairstyles when you have clip-in real hair. And so that's what I have uh, purchased here. Clip-in hair, it's real human hair. Pretty, pretty doggone close to what, um, I was gonna say what God gave me, but but God doesn't give you, you know, four different colors on your head. So pretty close to what the colorist gave me and a wonderful option to uh, pull the hair back and do a ponytail or do an updo, which uh, I think prompted this video. I showed you a picture of an updo that I did with the clip in hair and I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to change your look to go from a shorter look to something that um, I guess gives you a little more versatility or for some ladies who have thinner hair this can help thicken it so when you pull it back you've got a little bit more to grab your ponytail is a little bit bigger your bun is a little bit thicker so it just gives you options or in my case you know my hair is about here so I can't pull it up in a ponytail or twist it or do a chignon uh, without having some help so this is my help and I will show you how I was able to achieve this look so this is a, a completed look the pony and this is one option that you can have. Uh, so I'm gonna take it out and then you're going to see quickly how this came to be. And then I will reattach and show you what all you can do. So here you go. This is, uh, you know, I mean, I guess I could wear it like this, but I'm not really going for this look. But again, it's all clipped in and removable. Um, and really pretty pretty simple so I'll, I'll take out a piece here and uh, give you an idea as to what it looks like okay so here's one section and they come like so they could be wide like this or narrow some are even wider and the key in choosing hair this clip in hair I always go for the color that is on the underside of the hair. Um, so your base color, basically, if you are coloring your hair, that's pretty much the color that you would want to match if this is something that you're going for. You could always buy a few pieces that tie in your highlight color as well. So you can mix in. In my case, it would be a bit of an auburn with a little bit of a honey blonde. Uh, but in this case, I just stuck with one color and they're all like this. And um, anyway, it seems to work just doing the darker hair color. Um, lighter highlights are usually around the face anyway. So this was, again, a wider piece. And that's how they work. They just clip in and it's so simple. So I'm going to finish the removal process here. And you'll see what I started with. And then you can also just take your brush, by the way, and brush these babies. You can curl them or straighten them because that is the beauty of having real hair instead of synthetic, is that it's moldable just like your own hair is. So I'm just gonna lay these back out on my table. I've got a couple of single pieces in here. The smaller ones look like this and I do those toward the nape of my neck. And I'm almost done removing it. And isn't that great? So easy to take out. And you'll see how easy it is to put back in. We're back to my length. And I'm going to, I think for the purpose of this video, I will now turn around and I will clip these back in and you'll be able to see the process. And then you saw the ponytail. What I'll do when I clip them in, I'll show you how to twist it and to do a chignon. 
Ready? Okay, so to get started, here's what you're going to need. Obviously, a can of good hairspray. I'm still using the Kenra Volume 25 Super Hold. You will need a comb right here to be able to separate your hair. And then also, if you have a teasing brush, that will be helpful as well. Ponytail holder if you need, and most certainly bobby pins to start pinning your hair back. So at this point, I'm gonna spin around and I will start sectioning off my hair and showing you how simple and easy it is to really get these uh, hair pieces in, clip them in, and then be able to do what you want with your hair. It's very fun and exciting. Okay, I hate to turn my back to you, but I must. All right, so what we do at this point is we're going to start with the bottom section and you don't want to go too too low but not too high either so somewhere in this vicinity uh, it's going to be hard for me to tell if I've kind of carved out a straight line here but I'll I'll do my best and I can kind of feel as I'm going Okay, somewhere in here. And I'm just going to grab a bobby pin to at least be able to pin it back. Okay, so at this point, what we're gonna do is just tease right along the area where the part was made. Just makes it easier for the hair to grip. And so you take one little piece, one of the small ones, and you open it up. I'm just feeling for where that part is, and I'm going to clip it in. Same thing with the next one. Just feel that part right there, clip it in. So now I'm going to bring down another little layer And then, again, secure this. Just tease it. Same thing. At this point, I'm going to go just a little bit above where I did the other one. Clip. And clip. Now I'm going to bring down another section, and I'm going to go with a wider piece. Right about there. Okay, so this is a wide one right here. Clip it. Clip it. And then I've got two more that I can do a little bit now on the side. And when you do them on the side, you don't want to start them too close to your face. You want to set them back a little bit so it will allow some of your front pieces to come forward to make it PC and all of your clip-in extensions are toward the back part of your hair. Okay, next side. Okay, and then when everything is clipped in, I can now turn around and take it from here. So let me move my mirror over and I will now use this as my guide. And I've got my teasing comb. So at this point, now what I wanna do is tease all of my hair, okay? So I'm gonna start at the front and just back home right at the root line. And I'm just trying to create volume and this will allow my own hair to smooth back and go over the clip-in hair. And I'm just going to work all the way around my face. Think back to 80s supermodel. <laughs> Everything was big and teased. That's not going to be the end result, but uh, it's certainly what you have to do to uh, create the looks that you want to get. Okay. 
There we go. So, <coughs> all right, I'm going to eat my hair as I demonstrate. So you saw the ponytail. From here, the next thing would be the updo. So at this point, you can take your brush and just slowly move your hair very, very gently over the hair that's been clipped in. And I am going to take it to the other side. And when I did that updo, what I did was I took my own hair and I twisted it around the clip in here. So I started like so and I twisted. And then as I made progress, I would take a bobby pin and then secure it, letting some of my own hair come forward, you know, as little highlight pieces, and then continue to twist my own hair in and blend it with the clip in here. Just working around. And you'll use a lot of bobby pins and a lot of hairspray to bring it all together. Okay, and so at this point you have a couple of options really. You can, if you want to do sort of a, a side pony, you can collect your hair and you can tie it in a little side ponytail right here and secure it and then always take one of these little pieces and wrap it around if that's a look that you want to do or you can continue to twist and then you can wrap it around itself in a little side knot. And you can let some pieces dangle. You can tighten it depending on the type of look that you want to create. Continue to wrap it around and tuck. You have all different kinds of options, but that's what's so fun about having all of this extra hair is that the sky's the limit. So again, it's just up to you as to how much or how little you want to have. Um, and I've known people who've just purchased a few pieces and like I said, have just made their own hair look a little bit thicker and their ponytails a little bit thicker. Um, so it's really, all within your creative realm and, and your personal needs. Um, and so you can play with what's great is that you've got this whole top layer and this is all your hair. So you can, you can make it as loose or as tight as you want to. And the same thing with your little chignon, as loose or as tight as you'd like. And I don't have a back mirror to check, but um, I'll kind of pivot around. And so you can see that everything's kind of wrapped and tucked and you know, what you have to do is spend a little bit more time with these under hairs. And I'm trying to do this pretty quickly, so I'm not gonna tuck everything in. But again, you just take your pieces and you secure them underneath and voila, you have yourself an updo and certainly a much longer look than what you started with. Um, and what's so great is that it took all of, you know, five minutes to clip everything in. It takes five minutes to take it all out and it completely changes your look. It gives you something a little bit more elegant and, and sophisticated if uh, uh, updo is what you're looking for. Um, but I like the fact that, you know, some of us just do better with shorter hair. I don't, I, I don't grow hair like this. I just don't. Whoever had this hair before me, you know, lucky you. I just, I, I just don't have hair like that. My hair gets brittle and dry and I don't know what it is, but my hair gets long and it just looks bleh. So it's nice to be able to purchase lovely hair and attach it to my own and somehow create uh, the best of both worlds is what
what I'll call it. So anyway, I'm thrilled to show you this updo and the options that you have with things like this. You know, you know I've done extensions before and they were the glue in kind and that's more permanent until you have them removed. Um, I think this gives a lot of you some easier options. Um, Non-committal in that you're not having to spend as much money and then you're not stuck with it for a while. So I think this maybe opens your horizons and presents some other options to you, which is something I always love to do. And as you know, when it comes to hair and makeup, it is a creative palette for me. And so any opportunity to play and to uh, enjoy, I guess, all aspects of uh, this creativity is really fun. So it's neat to be able to bring that to you too. Um, comments and suggestions as my updo is falling down because uh, yeah, I didn't put enough bobby pins in to secure it. But anyway, you get the gist. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. It was it was fun for me to be able to show you. And, um, and I think I owe you a um, business wardrobe video coming up next. I think that's on the list. But in the meantime, I am about to depart. I have a 9 a.m. flight with a family tomorrow for spring break. And it's um, 1130 at night. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to be getting much sleep, am I? But I got my video in and I'm happy that I did that. Um, comments, suggestions, ideas, whatever. I love them all and I cherish all of your input. I think you're just, you're, you're great. You're such, you're such a great community. I can't stand it. I feel so blessed. It's not even funny. So anyway, hope you're having a wonderful uh, spring. If you're on holiday or spring break, enjoy yourself with whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, if you're not, hey, that's okay. You know, there, there's blessing in the work and what we do and in being a parent and the day to day. And sometimes we just have to find the joy and the gift in that as well. So go out, be bold, be blessed this week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!